give you a little room tour of Francis here. This is the corridor and I'm staying in room 418. So to access your room, you have an access card, um, which is how you check into the ship and check out the ship. Also your lifeboat that you're, that you're assigned to, as well as your room information. You can just call it off so you don't lose it. So just a little look around the room. This is a windowed twin bed room. So two single beds and a large window. The alternative variation of this is a porthole, which is a smaller window. So with the window room, you get this massive window compared to the porthole. So you can wake up every morning and just look at beautiful Antarctica. This is pretty cool, especially if you get a call on the brig that there's whales out there and um, you can sort of stay in your bed pajamas and uh, start taking some photos from this huge window. They've cleaned it after the Drake Passage, which is nice. So you can get some nice shots. There's one of the Zodiacs coming over from the Penguin Island, just there. Um, so that's the great thing about this the expedition vessel. Um, it's pretty much unlimited Zodiac rides the whole trip. So you're really gonna see a lot of Antarctica. So yeah, this is a huge window with a great view. So if you're wondering the difference between a porthole and the window room, yes, you have a window on a porthole, but this is the large window. And you get curtains, they're very thick curtains, and the sun doesn't set. You get sort of a twilight sun setting. Um, so this does block a lot of the sunlight. Um, so the curtains are good. You also get a private reading lamp for your single bed i'm sharing with another solo traveler uh, so the lamp is there for your personal light and then next to your bed you have a box of tissues and you get a european plug each one two this is a dutch vessel um so the plugs are european you also got a night light here um so you can easily turn the light on and off uh, from your bed um, one addition is this little cabbie here um, which is on my roommate's side so he's using that as a towel rack um, so he's using that there's only one of those in the room um, and instead I get a beautiful picture of a seal I think that's a, t a tiger seal um, to wake up to every morning um, and just to show you what the beds look like, two single, they are sturdy, they are strong, and they are comfortable. Um, the pillow is a very large, thick, fluffy pillow, very comfortable. I only need one, I normally need two pillows, but this pillow is perfect. You get a nice, thick duvet, um, you get room service, your room gets uh, cleaned every day, um, so you can opt for fresh towels if you like, which is always a nice plus when you're doing a lot of smelly showers after these fun expeditions and adventure activities. It's quite a nice little touch that you can replace your towels whenever you want. And the mattress is nice and comfortable as well, very thick. Um, I've slept so well on this uh, expedition ship. It's very comfortable, even as a solo bunk. They're quite wide and spacious. And then next to the table below the plugs, so you've got this little table where the tissues sort of sit and you can charge your devices, put your bottles of water. Then under here, you have a little cubby each, um, which is what I'm using for my camera gear and electronics. So that's just under here. And then you've got space under the bed, <clears throat> which is where I'm storing my luggage bag and my laundry and some other bits and bobs. Um, so you have that whole space under the bed. You have to get resourceful in this room. You have a heater system, which you can do cool and hot, uh, which is your preference or your roommate's preference or what you both agree on on the first day. Um, and then that comes out of here. So you've got a nice heater um, or a cooler, depending on your preference, if it's hot or cold. 
that is just in the entrance there. You got three hooks on the back of the wardrobe, which is where you usually keep your, your life jacket, um, which is helpful. And then you have your cupboard space here. Two cupboards, one per cabin, per person. And then I'll just show you inside. So you've got a top bit. There's some space up here as well. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six hangers, which is helpful. You've then got your emergency buoyancy A there. Um, you'll have a drill about how to use that, when to use that. So that perfectly fits in there. So you don't have to worry about that, that's tucked away. And then at the bottom of the wardrobe is a, is a combination safe as well. Um, so you can lock up your valuables. Um, while on the expedition, which is nice. And then down here, you have another little individual cubby each, um, which I'm using as a sock and underwear drawer. So that's nice. And then just to show you, got a trash bin there. You've got a humidifier, clean air machine, which is just constantly running, getting rid of all the expedition smells, which <laughs> Keeping a fresh airflow in the room, which is always nice. We've got a communication phone here. Hardly use that. Um, you've got a, these are cool. Make my room. Do not disturb. Beauty sleep in progress, ocean wide. That's a nice little touch. Um, you don't have to put that on the door, but if you don't want to be disturbed, that's always handy. Um, and then we have a desk here and a chair. I've only got one of those, you have to share with your roommate, um, which is perfect for working on a laptop, editing, photos, etc. And here you have a ethernet port, so you can connect your laptop via ethernet cable, um, and the, the ship has an internal email system that you can pay around, I paid around about 20 euros, for the whole expedition cruise um, to access, so you could connect your laptop with an ethernet cable. Um, but the Wi-Fi has been absolutely perfect. Um, and they also have an entertainment system on board, um, so you can access a whole host of movies, um, up-to-date news shows as well, um, which is all available over the Wi-Fi, and you scan a QR code to access all that entertainment. Um, and that's all offline, that's on a server. And then the emails get pinged via the satellite, it's very reliable because um, it just connects when it connects and then your emails get sent off and received. Um, so I'm just sticking with the with the, um, with the the email service because the internet packages are very expensive, uh, about 150 uh, mega, mega uh, sorry, 150 euros for, I think it was like 400 megabytes, which is a lot of money. Um, and I'm quite happy being offline. Um, during this expedition uh, and sticking with just emails because it is Christmas and New Year's uh, so it's nice to contact family via email so this is the TV um, I'll give you a run through it's, it's not as useful as I thought it would be um, which is why I want to run you through the TV you've got a remote here um, but because there's no internet you won't be able to access the Netflix button um, and then there's no way to access that um, entertainment system I'm talking about. You have to access it via the internet um, on your smart device uh, if you'd like to watch the movies. Um, but they have uh, a bow cam so you can check out the view from the bow. Um, there's a map as well so you can follow the map. Um, we are stopped at the moment so maybe that's all turned off. Um, but yeah, usually. So you've got a uh, AV if you want to bring a PlayStation, HDMI as well if you want to bring a a Fire Stick. Um, but yeah, obviously there's no internet or uh, just to connect your laptop to watch some in some movies. Um, that's what I would recommend using this TV for uh, is if you want to bring some movies along. Uh, bow cam. Um, oh, you also get your daily information about what we're what we're doing. Um, on the on the TV as well, so we've just come. Uh, so that's all there. Yeah. So there is a map and there is a camera off the bow, which you can enjoy from your room. So yeah, HDMI cable is okay. If you want to connect your 
laptop which would make use out of the TV. So I just wanted to give you that highlight. And then finally, the bathroom. Turn the, the light is out here. There we go. This gets cleaned daily. So you've got a toilet, you've got a shower, you get a floor mat daily. Let's keep the floor dry. Be a shower curtain. Um, soap is included. There's special eco soap, which is good for the environment, which is good. You've also got that here for hand soap. A sink. You get a individual toothbrush holder. Toilet paper's there. There's a soap holder. There's also a radiator, which is useful for drying your socks and your towels or anything you need to quickly dry, like your hat or, or something like that. Got a large mirror here and a light. We're here if you want to do some uh, YouTube reviews. <laughs> and then under there you have um, two storage shelves, which I'm using the bottom one, my roommate's using the top one. And a little trash can on the side. Very spacious bathroom, very impressed with it. So yeah, that concludes my room tour of Plantius, just to answer all the questions I had when I first wanted to know about the room, about the TV, about the sharing facilities, the desk and everything. And yeah, the bed is super comfortable. Thumbs up from Travel Dave. And then that beautiful view that you can just admire Antarctica from your room totally worth the window view um, because the porthole can be restricted view as well so that's something to bear in mind if you are a photographer they do clean these windows uh, but yeah that view is just absolutely sensational highly recommend coming out to Antarctica or Plantius the staff are amazing you're well looked after it's very personal loads of activities loads of adventure and you'll constantly be doing things non-stop it is full on and for Christmas and New Year's as well, extra special. So yeah, that concludes my tour. Hope you've enjoyed and I hope this answers a few of the questions you had. And uh, yeah, have an amazing time in Antarctica. Thank you for watching.